Sometimes people just have one job to do and they still manage to mess it up. It doesn't matter what job it is or how simple, someone will still be able to turn it into a disaster. Luckily, when it's not you making the mistake, it can be pretty funny to watch. Let's get it on. Snow can be a lot of fun, but it's good to remember that it's also out to get you. Usually the problems start when the slipperiness sets in, but you should start looking for traps long before that. Don't make the same mistake as this guy. He clearly thinks he'll simply shake the snow off the roof and his furniture will be totally safe. Nope, if something can go wrong, the snow will ensure it does. The police are there to protect us by catching criminals and keeping them off the street. It doesn't take a genius to work out that that means keeping them securely locked up, but it seems like these cops forgot that part. Sure, put a criminal in a ground floor room with an open window, what could go wrong? I'm surprised it took that guy so long to figure out he'd been given a get out of jail free card. Oh, no. Most people can say they had one great teacher and several terrible ones, but the real trick is knowing which ones to trust from the start. Luckily, there are teachers like this out there that make that really easy. She starts saying this. So us teachers would never ask you students to do anything we wouldn't do ourselves. And then immediately shows you why you shouldn't trust her. Sure, there's no trick there. She's not a liar, but it's pretty obvious why you wouldn't want to follow her. Luckily, when things go wrong, there's usually a skilled team of paramedics nearby to lend a hand. That's true for everyone, but even more true for an athlete, except maybe this one. They look like they know what they're doing, sure, but then you realize not everything is as it seems. The best bit? When they've clearly given up and just drop him onto the floor at the end, he would have been better off just walking. We all make mistakes, but some are worse than others. Be warned, a pizza was slightly harmed in the making of this clip. This pizza delivery guy looks like the most careful person on earth. Every step is cautious as he makes sure nothing goes wrong. And rightly so. There's nothing more upsetting than a dropped pizza. It's not even his. And he still looks more sad than anyone has ever seen. Every one of us has struggled to safely move breakables at one point in our lives. Usually it's a flower vase or our favorite mug though. And these guys have no business trying to move a pot this size. Even they must have realized pretty early on that they didn't have the tools or the qualifications to be doing this. But they persisted, even though they definitely shouldn't have. That poor pot never stood a chance. We all have moments where pride gets the better of us, and we start insisting that we don't need help, even though we clearly do. This video shows the worst possible moment for pride to kick in. There's no good reason to try to wheel someone's expensive, brand new appliance up a drive all on their own without just waiting for their colleague to come help. It would have meant standing still for about, uh, three seconds? Surely anyone can afford to wait that long. On the bright side, he'll never try that again after causing this disaster. Some jobs push you out of your comfort zone more than others. This woman doesn't look like someone who's ever tried to do this before. Still, it seems a simple task, get the water off the roof. The thing is, she's clearly forgotten that water does what it wants to. I can't help but think that this whole task would have been easier if she'd stood under the roof in the first place. <laughs> Live and learn, I guess. Sometimes you just have to accept that you're not the right man for the job. This kid clearly wants to help, but the situation isn't working in his favor. Everything about this is against him. The wind is too strong. The bin is too big. The angle is all wrong. Then again, what can he do? If he leaves it, it probably won't be there when help arrives. It's get that bin home or die trying. With all the scripting and rules surrounding all types of TV, it can be easy to forget that anything going out live can go horribly wrong at any moment. And if it does, it's probably going to be on Australian daytime news. Literally, not one part of this segment was working. But then it entered a new level of wrong when this happened. I got a bird! I got a Oh no. I'd, oh no. I'd, I'd go to That's another shot. Okay. Luckily, the duck was fine. As for the show, eh, I'll let you be the judge of that. Big machines are like animals. You'll be fine if you respect the fact that they're not your friends. You never know when one's going to turn on you, so it's best to avoid close contact. This rubble vacuum machine is probably seriously useful most of the time. Look how easy this job is thanks to this wonderful invention. Until there's one mistake. See what I mean? Always keep your distance and tie your shoelaces. Some people fail at their job because they're just no good at it. Others fail because they're lazy, which is so much worse. This delivery guy didn't want to deliver a huge order to a house because it had a few steps leading up to it. So he just dumped the stuff and left. The thing is, when you're too lazy to do something right, someone else will take advantage. In this case, that someone was a flock of seagulls. Those people are definitely ordering pizza tonight.
Just because someone looks the part doesn't always mean that they're any good at their job. These guys have the truck, they have the baseball caps, they have the gloves. They definitely look like they've moved a lot of building material. But there's one thing missing, a ramp for that concrete circle. The worst part? Two out of the three people there knew that was never going to work and still listened to the one crazy voice. Sometimes it's good to take the easy way out, but be warned, just because something looks like the easy way doesn't mean it actually is. These guys were certain that it'll be easier to transport the glass in the elevator instead of carrying it up the stairs. They didn't count on their friend forgetting that his only job was to hold the doors. It's such a big mistake, even with the skill of that disaster, it could have been worse. When someone takes on a job, they're telling the person who's paying for it that they know what they're doing and can be trusted. This tow truck driver is therefore a liar. Why? Because he doesn't seem to have any idea how to tow a car. Actually, maybe I'm being unfair. The car is definitely being towed, and that's what they asked for, right? Nobody ever said it would arrive in one piece as well. With any job on the market, there's a certain degree of skill involved. You might think that moving a stack of beer like this is a job anyone can do, but you'd be wrong. This guy probably thought that too. He was definitely wrong as he quickly found out. Is it worth wondering how much that all costs? Can you still sell it when it's been shaken around like that? Who knows? Either way, he's got a lot of cleaning up to do. The best place to start on any job is to get the right tools. Yes, even for the simple things. This guy probably thinks he doesn't need the best tools because all he's trying to do is crack open a nut. He's very wrong as you're about to see, but he isn't just missing the obvious nutcracker and using his hand. He's also missing the right surface. Well, I admit, his hand was stronger than I expected. There's nothing more admirable than true dedication most of the time. There's a fine line between dedication and ridiculousness though. He could have just taken the penalty, but he chose to have another go despite the mud and water. And fair play, for a moment it looks like he might have it, right up until the moment where he definitely doesn't. That literally couldn't have gone any worse. Some people are effortlessly cool, others like to show off in front of cameras. If you learn anything today, let it be that showing off in full view of a live TV camera is never going to go well for you. It wasn't even a difficult stunt that this guy was attempting. Actually, it looks mostly like someone riding a bike so badly that there was no option but to fall off. Next time, just ride past. Simple. Learner drivers will be quick to tell you that parking a car isn't as easy as it seems. But one thing is certain, it's a lot easier if you do it slowly. I don't know how this guy got this far without knowing that. There's a reason people don't speed in car parks, and this is it. The other cars in this lot can thank their lucky stars that he didn't actually make it into the garage. Not all jobs require background checks, but one job that should is anything involving power tools. More specifically, they should make sure the people they've hired actually know how to work those dangerous tools. Otherwise, you end up with employees doing things like this. Luckily for everyone involved, his problem wasn't knowing how to turn it on. If he'd got that part right, we probably wouldn't have been laughing at the results.